Many say for guidance on how to handle growing foreign threats now, we need only to look to the past. That is the message from best-selling author Joel Rosenberg. In his new book, The Auschwitz Escape, he chronicles the amazing escape of four men from a Nazi death camp. And the book's raising many important moral and strategic questions about current U.S. foreign policy, including if we ignore the threat of a nuclear-armed Iran, could we see another Holocaust? Joel is joining us now live from Jerusalem. Uh, Joel, thank you so much for joining us today from the other side of the world. My pleasure. Great. Glad to be with you from Jerusalem. Uh, I want to start by, uh, you did some commissioning of some questions and some polling in, in, in co uh, conjunction with the release of the book, asking very important questions. I want to go through some of these. And the first you asked, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? If the world does not take decisive action and the Iranian regime is permitted to build nuclear weapons and the missiles to deliver them, the Iranian regime will one day attempt to annihilate the state of Israel and bring about a second Holocaust. Eighty percent of those polled said they agree with that statement. I mean, Iranian leaders have made no secret that that is their end game. So where do we stand? Well, it is fascinating, I think, that, that you have that high a number. Eighty percent of Americans fear a second Holocaust if Iran gets the bomb. I mean, that's just sweeping across every religion, every political ideology, every part of the country, every race. Um, what's also interesting is 68 percent of Americans believe it, it could be a nuclear holocaust against us here in the United States if Iran gets the bomb. That's why all these negotiations with Iran, the sanctions, are so important, because if they don't work or if they somehow undermine uh, international efforts to, uh, to stop Iran, then you, you, you start moving towards the possibility you have to go to war. Yeah, and we, the Prime Minister of Israel, of course, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, was here uh, in the U.S. not long ago, just a couple of weeks back, talking about the threat there and saying he will do whatever he has to do to defend Israel, to defend the Jewish state. Which brings us to another one of the questions here. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? While I do not wish for war, if diplomacy and economic sanctions fail to stop Iran and there's no other choice, I would support the state of Israel taking decisive military action to neutralize the Iran nuclear threat and believe the U.S. should back our ally in Israel in every way that we can. Nearly 67 percent agreed with that statement. Yeah, and that's interesting because, again, you know, when I wrote this novel, The Auschwitz Escape, is to raise these important questions. This is not just 70 years ago. People, Americans fear a Holocaust now in Israel or here. And what's interesting is they are ready to back Israel. I mean, that's, those are strong numbers. What's also interesting is, though, that 59 percent of Americans would support President Obama launching decisive strikes, massive strikes, airstrikes against Iran if we had to, if there was no other choice, as long as we don't put ground forces in Iran. So those are, even though we're war weary, we say that, but when it comes to Israel and our own security vis-a-vis -vis Iran, a nuclear Iran, it seems like the, the polls show we want to stop Iran in order to stop a second Holocaust. And quickly, I want to ask you, what lessons will folks learn from the book that we can apply today? Well, these four men who actually escaped out of Auschwitz 70 years ago this spring are, are heroes. And what they did is they brought the world the truth. You know, there was a lot of rumors and speculation about what was really happening in these camps. Were they slave labor camps? Were they just concentration camps? Or were they death camps? And, it, and these four men risked their own lives, not just to save their lives, but to tell the Jewish communities and the allies, there's a systematic extermination of the Jewish people going on under, underway now. And it, and it raises the question for us when we learn those stories, are we willing to take decisive action to stop evil before it can metastasize and bring about devastating consequences, whether it's with Jews or any ethnic minor, minority, or with us, uh, you know, if, if Iran or some other country pose that serious a threat to us? All right, Joel. Well, I can't wait to uh, open the book and get started. I've got my copy. And as I always warn people, they are fascinating books. Um, but you better not have anything else you need to do because it's hard to put them down once you start. We wish you all the best with the new book. Joel, thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Great to be with you.